Alison, come in. Come in. I can't believe it. We're down 4% this morning. Coffee? No, thanks. I'm good. 4%. Uh, how can that be? Oscar, I asked Alison to join us to explain just that. I, I mean, I, I didn't do anything. Alison has been unravelling what happened. I know what happened. I threw a birthday party for my 12-year-old daughter, ordered her a cake in the shape of a pony, and it was a damn good cake that actually looked like a pony. Her pony. Anyway, by midday Monday, our share price is down 4%, and, and, and I get to work, and, and Doug here is saying weird stuff as if, as if the two things are connected. They are, and it's now 4.2%. Oh, great, thanks. What, you're in IT, right? On the security team. I asked Alison to take time to lay this whole thing out for us. And interrogate me, right? I don't need to interrogate you, Mr Hernandez. Let's keep this informal and uh, between us, yes? That OK with you, Alison? Oscar? Hmm. Sure. I took the confidentiality part as a given. Naturally. So, where are we? Up the proverbial creek without a paddle is my guess. Not quite, Oscar. We're implementing our plan. We've informed everyone who needs to know about the breach and we're shutting down infected systems and tracking potential losses. What have we lost? In terms of cash, nothing. Data, we don't quite know yet. We think they were after IP, maybe supplier information, bank account details, that kind of thing. My guess is IP. What we know we've lost is reputation. We're being open and honest, following all the rules and regulations, but any breach that gets into the public domain as quickly as this one is going to hit us hard in the markets and with customers. Y yes, but tell me, exactly how does Lily's birthday party open us up to a major breach? Don't blame yourself, Oscar. It could happen to any of us. I'm sorry, but I must be honest with you. We need to apportion some of the blame to Mr Hernandez. Oh, well, I don't know... Your who... management of social media was careless. It did not conform to our rules. You did not do what we trained you to do. Look, I don't know who you think you are, but if... Oscar, Oscar, please. Alison is just doing her job. If she feels it necessary to point out, between us, what you did wrong, then it's important that she does so. Look, I've never heard of you, Miss... Mrs Harford. Well, Mrs Harford, we're all on Facebook. I mean, it's second nature. You, you take a great photo, you share it. I mean, what's wrong with that? Your privacy settings weren't robust enough. It's my personal account, my private account. Sure, but you didn't set your privacy so only your friends could see what you post. Didn't you do that, Oscar? Yes, of course I did. A long time ago, but... But... Sometimes you need to check your settings just to make sure nothing's changed, either by an update or you change device, you reload the app, and then you reset something. It happens. Can you remember? But, but no. Look, I, I've changed my phone, I, I don't know, five times in the last couple of years. You need to check it regularly just in case. So who... I mean, why me? You're on the board of a large, successful company. You have access to its secrets. You are connected to all the important players in the business. They email you and you email them. You share data, files, presentations. Yes, but not on Facebook. And besides, it was Georgina who got hacked. Yes, that's a good point, Alison. They didn't hack Oscar. Oscar's openness on Facebook helped them target Georgina. She's head of marketing. She knows what new products are in development. She has access to sensitive data, and she was at Lily's birthday party. She's Lily's godmother. And she was tagged in that photo with that great cake. What? Facebook recognised her? It tags faces and then shares images with friends and followers. With the right privacy settings, it only shares it with people you know, but... So... OK, OK, I get the point. The hacker could then email Georgina, pretending to be Oscar with a subject line that joked about the cake. Hmm, let me see what he wrote. Yes, all right. I do know how this works. Ah, I ponied up a fortune for that cake, but it was delicious and worth it. Take a look at how much you liked it. You is in capitals. Three exclamation marks. I'd never put three exclamation marks. And Georgina opened it in good faith. Why wouldn't she? Then she clicked on the attachment, expecting to see a photo. And our share price drops 4.2%. Hmm, we're down 5%. We'll recover, but it'll take time. <sighs> Something as simple as a picture of a cake on Facebook. It's incredible. We'll bounce back, but yes, simple things like this matter.
It's important to remember to reduce the personal details on your social media profile to the sensible minimum. Control who can view your social media posts by applying privacy settings and blocking unwanted individuals. Remember, anything public can be found using a search engine. Verify the identity of callers or the senders of any message that asks you to do something. And beware of suspicious links and attachments. When in doubt, don't click. <laughs>